Hey guys, Nick here with Tech Lord Duo. In this video, we're going to install Transmission on a FreeNAS server. So let's get going. So the first step is to log into your FreeNAS server. Uh, you're going to click on Plugins. We're going to wait for this to load. So at the very bottom here, you'll have Transmission. So we'll click Install. Click OK. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to install, and in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and set up the folder. So we'll go ahead to our uh, PC here. I already have this mapped and shared, so we will double click on that. This is my FreeNAS server right here. I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this one Transmission, just so that I know. All right, so we'll go ahead and minimize that. The app is now installed for us. We're going to click on install. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. As you can see here, it is version 2.92. Okay, you have the option to delete it from here as well. Uh, the next step we're going to take is going to jails. Then click on transmission. So right here you can see that um, the IP address is listed right here, 192.168.86.5. Yours may be different, depends on your home network and how it's set up. Um, it is set to auto start and it is currently running. All right, so we'll go ahead and click add storage right down here. We're gonna go ahead and keep it as transmission one for the jail. The source is, we're gonna browse. We'll go ahead and drop these down and we're gonna select the folder that we created before. We are now going to go down to destination, click browse. Wait a minute, let me scroll down here. And we're going to go ahead and click media. So uh, what this does, it just points to that folder that we created. So anything that is downloaded goes to media and then goes right to transmission. Essentially just kind of moves over. We'll click OK. So now that's created. We're going to go down to uh, plugins here on the left. You'll have a drop down of all your plugins listed. I'll click on transmission now. Okay, so this is our port right here. We're gonna go ahead and take the IP address that we saw, 192.168.86.5. We'll open up a new tab, type that in, colon 9091, enter. And here we are. So now we have um, transmission set up and loaded. The next step we want to take is by is click this little wrench down here. Download to downloads. Um, unfortunately, this will not work if we keep it as this. We want to do a forward slash media, and that is what uh, this folder is pointing to. Uh, whenever you download something, it will go to media and then be transferred directly to that transmission folder we created earlier. That's just how FreeNAS works. So we'll go ahead and click the X there and let's test it out. So I'm gonna click this up here, choose file. I already have a torrent ready. This is a Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna be setting up later. So I wanna download that. We'll click open and then uh, upload. So we're gonna wait for this to finish. While we do that, let's open up the, um, the file explorer right here. It looks like it's starting, has one of 16 peers, still zero kilobits. And here it goes, it's starting. So it's already at 1.48 megabytes, which is actually quite fast. And let's check transmission, see if it is downloading. And there it is. So it's already downloading for us. So if you need to check that torrent or go uh, see it, use it, open it, you want to browse right to your transmission folder that you created earlier, and it'll be there for you. So now if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day.